What up guys? Episode seven, scaling the agency to eight figures. I wake up at about 6 a.m. First thing I do is really just drink water. Since I work out a lot, I'll start with one of these. Get some sodium. Supposedly it kind of wakes up the body, but what it for sure does is gives you all the electrolytes. I do a boxing it at seven, so I'm 45 minutes. Mojo, shout out to Greg O'Gallagher. Here we have post-defense mushrooms. This is really just uh, daily immune support. I've been taking this for like two years now. We got vitamin D3, super simple immune system. And then right now I'm just taking this probiotic by Garden of Life. You're up pretty early. Can I go to your place? Good boy. All right, today is Wednesday. And I am fully back in my routine. And it feels amazing just to be back in my circadian rhythm, waking up early, and really just being super effective for the entire day. So my days are pretty much nonstop. It's like 6 a.m. to like 8 o'clock at night, sleeping about eight hours, eight and a half hours. I highly recommend that, um, especially if you're training hard. Like right now, my body is really sore. I just think it's because I'm re-acclimating to my workout routine, but since it is 7 a.m., normally I train at nine. Um, I would do the cold plunge first thing in the morning. That's been helping with my workouts, just having really good workouts and not feeling so, um, just feeling so sore overall. Super pumped to get back in this boxing gym, get it going. Today's gonna be a great day. Johnny, Johnny misses. Yeah. He was me. <laughs> Crazy Johnny, you out there drinking, partying, in love and shit. In love. Sleeping in. That's crazy. So one of the biggest reasons why I chose to become an entrepreneur is because I wanted complete freedom of my time. And I remember six years ago, I'd be waking up right now to go open up a restaurant, make smoothies and serve customers and make basically no money. Now I'm able to wake up, go to the gym, come back, chill, work my ass off, just control my schedule. So this message is for all you guys who are just getting started, who are trying to get to 10K a month. It's gonna be difficult. Stay strong, pick your niche, learn so much about your industry, and don't fucking quit. Because if you quit, it's a guaranteed way to never make it. And uh, if I were to quit, I'd be in a restaurant right now instead of right here. So it blows my mind how some of these guys get in the cold plunge and just have full blown conversations. So. I'm gonna try that right now. Three minutes, baby. November's coming to an end. December's here, 2023's ending, and the game plan is still the same. I'm still focused on four ingredients to scale the agency. Project number one is sales. Project number two is retention, lowering churn. Project number three, increasing price point, which is overall just increasing lifetime value along with retention. Ingredient number four is recruiting and hiring so we can continue scaling. We should avoid wait lists. Now, 
one variable that's stopping us is recruiting. We've been having wait lists for like the last three months and that's really delaying our revenue because we can't charge someone until they start. And so one thing I'm really focused on right now is we are hiring a recruiting manager. This person is solely responsible for going through all the candidates, going through all the first round interviews, setting us up for round two interviews and round three. This is gonna save us a lot of time because a lot of our COO and sales manager's time is going into interviewing and candidate filtering and that's taking away from the product, that's taking away from the customer. And I think we may hire two. One is for the CSR role, our appointment setter role. And the other one is gonna be, we're looking for head of paid social, we're looking for a senior PPC specialist, and we're looking for a savage in the account management department, especially for dental. So that's one big project. Along guys with churn, November and December historically been bigger months in churn. Just know for us too, churn is higher during these holiday months. You gotta stick strong. You got to really educate the client that ed that advertising during the holidays is important so we can start strong in January. These are two big focal points for me right now. That's the game. Basically what we'll do here is um, we'll have like two parts of like an interview process. I know we only have like 40 minutes, so we'll just kind of go quick. But like why were you interested in applying um, to Digital Ox? Yeah, I'm right now looking for like a new opportunity and I see your YouTube channel and I'm familiar with exactly what you guys are doing because I've sold it myself kind of like we talked before, Stephen. What, what would you say you're really good at professionally? So this week has been a very productive week in terms of hiring recruiters. I sourced nine different candidates and we have it down to two final candidates. However, I like both of them and they both have a lot of experience in two different departments um, in our company. So if both of them make it past reference checks, which we definitely always call references, we'll bring one on on the sales side to recruit more CSRs in our company and SDRs and then the other one is going to be looking for head of paid social, account manager, and some media buyers. So overall, we're finding some progress. How are you? I'm great. Oh, look who we got here. We got the boss on the line. I'm always yeah. excited. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. Very nice to meet you. Our goal as a company is to teach our clients how to understand how to make a powerful ad. And so we're going through this training and we're, we're breaking everything down. And so if we can take someone from like not knowing anything to understanding in three to four months, like how to make a 45 second powerful ad. And then now they know how to do it because it's not a Facebook video. It's not a YouTube video. This is an ad because mm. everyone wants speed right we're in the, we're in the day and age now where we got amazon prime and <laughs> think about it though like this is where it's going whoever can do the exact same service but in half the amount of time is always going to win even if it costs more mm. right mm -hmm. tie in speed and effectiveness and then we end it with we've helped we're helping hundreds of patients in in this county and then we take all the photos of you and the patients and and just one after another is on the ad like in a unique way um yeah we actually do that in a lot of our ads now. Okay. And then it's like, hey, book a call. Let's get you scheduled this week. Mm -hmm. Now think about how much motivation and inspiration and proof and this week is pushing on higher contact rate and higher lead to schedule rate, right? Like in a piece of content. Okay. That's That's brilliant. Brilliant. That would be great. And Steve, just so you know, I've been with a number of different agencies who I'm no longer with because whenever there is an issue, I need anything or I'm just confused. Like, you know, lots of docs, like, I don't know what's going on. Not only does Kelly always make herself available, but she gives me really intelligent answers. And that's why not only am I still with you guys, but look forward to working with you um, indefinitely um, because of that. You don't need to know. It doesn't matter about your competition, but I work with so many of them. And the level of customer service, you know, that I've gotten is even, you know, with some of the folks that, you know, I guess are bigger in your industry, not nobody's bigger than you, but I meant they're just, they, it, you guys are heading shoulders above Kelly and Amy are really, um, 
are, are critical to to everything. So, mm -hmm. so you know, because I have the experience of working with so many other companies uh, who just really are missing the boat big time. So that's yeah. it. I wanted to make sure I told you that. I appreciate the feedback. All right, guys, meal one, my breakfast. I'm going to keep it like this for a while until I get burnt out. But we have six whole eggs scrambled, cooked in tallow oil or whatever it's called. Um, and then I have basically a cup of blueberries and strawberries. So this should be what I've realized is this. I'm going to get a lot of protein in. And I'm going to have a decent amount of carbs from berries, which is like low glycemic. So I'm not going to like crash throughout the day. So this is the current game plan. And then low key, someone put me on this supplement. Now, this is creatine. When I had to take the creatine powder, I would never take it every day because I just, for some reason, putting creatine in water and drinking that shit, I just wouldn't do it. These are creatine gummies, so all I have to do is eat three gummies a day. So easy to keep up with my creatine um, intake. 42 in dog years. Still fucking cries. Farts. Lines. What's up with that? So I grabbed one. Um, Monte Cristo for oh, you. I appreciate it, dude. Yeah, so that's for you, man. Thanks, I appreciate brother. what you're doing. Yeah, brother. Yeah. And any, we'll talk right now. I'll help you out anyway. Yeah, 100%. I'm in Tin, and my question to you what advices can you give for yourself when you were 18? It's like, yeah. The fact that you're 18, already asking these questions, is crazy. When I was 18, I was not anywhere near where you're at. Like, I was. I was not the best kid. <laughs> I didn't even get my shit together until I was 24 years old. Yeah. When I was 24 years old is when I realized no one's gonna save me. I have to go out, put in the work. I have to build a business to get the freedom I want and the lifestyle I want. But I didn't start till I was 24. He's starting at 18. One thing I admire about him is his goal next year is he's trying to retire his mom in Ukraine. Yeah. And so for him to live in Germany, I will do it. He <laughs> will I do will, it. I will do it. Yeah. I will Wait, it. <laughs> his, he moved to Germany. He now has clients in Dubai and in the United States. And so that's crazy how, you know, that's a, that's a very powerful goal. I do believe you're going to do it. And at the age of 18, already having those thoughts and thinking that is very mature. So that's awesome. So yeah, I started the, at 16, but yeah. Started at 16, yeah. that's crazy. So the feedback I'd give to my younger self is um, truly understand how to focus and work. So when you're first starting out, you don't know shit. So you really have to be focused and be able to uh, work long hours because you have so much to learn and you have, you have to make money. So remove the Instagrams, don't be obsessed with YouTube, binge, like all that is good, but make sure that you are focused working day in, day out. Like so many kids are scrolling on their phone all day and on YouTube and they don't get shit done. So, and I speaking to my younger self, I had to delete Instagram, I had to delete everything because I was just so distracted. So that was number one. Number two, you have to understand what delayed gratification is. And you already, you need to know that it's gonna be hard as hell. So. If you already tell you, if you already know you're going to mentally go through a lot of tough times, that's good because that's for sure what's going to happen. You need to learn how to go from zero to one, one to 10, 10. It's just a lot of skill sets, a lot of things that you need to do. Um, so delayed gratification basically means, are you willing to do all the work for a year, two years and see zero results and be okay with it, but knowing that in year three, it's gonna blow. you're gonna figure it out. And at year five, you're gonna say, I'm so happy that younger me wasn't soft and didn't quit. Because if I did quit, you wouldn't experience what everyone experiences. So, delayed gratification. Last one is the foundation of all the success, especially in the agency game, is it simply comes down to, are you making people more money? You need to figure out how to make people more money, period. And that is service fulfillment and understanding how to do it. Because if you don't figure it out, it's gonna be really hard for you to grow. But the moment you figure out 
how to make people more money, how to, uh, how to do marketing well, how to fulfill. People are gonna keep paying you. They're gonna tell all their friends. When you run ads and get new clients, you're gonna get them results, and everyone's just gonna stay with you, and that's how you make more money. How to make life of plants and business plans better. Make that's how you yeah. make, actually serve people, make an impact, make people more money. Stop trying to learn sales, get a bunch of clients, and be terrible at client results. Like that's not how it works. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, Thank bro. you so much. Like, yeah, I appreciate what you're doing. And just, just keep going, man. Yeah. I'm gonna see you at the top too. <laughs> Who else you think about? I can't be calling your phone every day. Fuck is you think about? This shit ain't loyal, then it's gonna spoil your heart like a trash. You can take it out. Quit making that shit and complain about.